What's up, people? This is True Engineer here. Uh, today, I have a guest who's going to start off our What is Engineering uh, series and talk about his particular major. Uh, I'm going to let him introduce himself. So at this time, I'm going to ask our guest what his name is. <clears throat> My name is Mark Lee McKelvin, Jr. All right, Mark Lee McKelvin, Jr. Where are you from? Sylvester, Georgia, the peanut capital of the world. All right. You're a southern boy. That's, that's nice. That's nice. Um, what's your educational background? Well, um, I did my undergraduate at Clark Atlanta University, uh, where I received a Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Um, then I went to University of California, Berkeley, where I received a Master of Science in Electrical Engineering. And now I'm about complete with my PhD in Electrical Engineering at University of California, Berkeley. All right, Cal Bear. Um, and he got into working on his PhD. Good stuff. Um, I see you have something in your hand. Um, I wonder, is that at all related to what it is you study? What exactly do you study? So I study electrical engineering, mm -hmm. um, and what I have in my hand is a breadboard which has an electrical circuit on it. So okay. on this circuit, you would see a number of different components, right? And these are all components which, as an electrical engineer, is uh, what you would learn in your first electrical engineering course. You learn how to put these components together in order to do something really cool. Like one example might be to be able to sense the lights in the room mm -hmm. and to be able to make a sound uh, depending on what the light level is. Right? Okay. So that's what electrical engineering is all about. <laughs> okay. So why did you choose to go into electrical engineering? So I chose to go into electrical engineering because, um, you know, I was, you know, I was told I was good in math and science. I was always interested in science and um, I always wanted to be at the forefront. Right? I was always, um, you know, I, I saw some of the movies where mm -hmm. you, know, you had these research scientists who were doing the coolest things and I wanted to be one of those. Who did some of those cool things so um, so I looked at you know engineering as, a, as an occupation um, I started out looking at aerospace engineering but at the time the industry wasn't doing very well because okay. I really liked airplanes so then I chose electrical engineering because I felt that I could still work in the aerospace industry okay or I can work in other industries so I felt that electrical engineering was um, a broad branch of engineering okay so I, I, I'm hearing that you uh, had an interest, you were good in math and you're growing up, you uh, had an interest in airplanes, um, you, you kind of saw the aerospace field wasn't going in the way you wanted to and you look for this broad field in electrical engineering, but um, you know, last time I checked, electrical engineers get paid. Um, did finance at all impact your decision to go into be an electrical engineer? Yeah, it did, um, but it wasn't the priority. Okay. Right? So, you know, one thing I would definitely say is that go by your passion. You know, if you do something that you love to do, mm -hmm. and it could be sports as well, mm -hmm. but just keep in mind what your opportunity and what your chances are. Okay. Okay. So again, you know, I, I say electrical engineering because I felt the chances were great. Okay. Right. For me to do what I want to do. So just keep that in mind. But the bottom line is, whatever you're passionate in, you just do it and you do it well, and the money is going to come. Okay. So money was only a factor. Um, between choosing being an electrical technician and electrical engineer. Um, and again, it came in, you know, like second or third, because ultimately it was just that interest in being in the forefront of, of science and technology. Mm -hmm. And it was that interest in being able to design electrical-based systems, right? right? So a technician doesn't really design an electrical-based system. Um, however, their occupation is very, very important, okay, to maintaining and also doing a lot of other things. Um, but as an engineer, you typically get paid more mm -hmm. uh, because you kind of have to use your brain power in order to design systems from the bottom up. Okay. So one of the things you also talked about um, is that electrical engineering is a broad field. Can you kind of um, touch on some of the things that y you see in electrical engineering and also because you seem to be a, a man of vision, uh, where you see the field of electrical engineering going in the future? Well, if you take out your cell phone, okay. the chances are you're gonna probably have what they call one of those smartphones. Okay. Right? So notice what those smartphones have. I mean, they're integrated with Facebook and Gmail and uh, MySpace and Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. We didn't see those things 10 years ago. 10 mm -hmm. years ago, you were still using the, you know, a pager and you was going to the pay phone in order to use the phone. Right, right, right. But now we have um, you know, one of those trends is that everything is being networked and it's kind of in your personal space. Right? So you're networking everything to your smartphone devices. You're able to control with your cell phone how to um, 
open your car door or how to start your car using your cell phone. So you're networking. Okay. So you you know you're interfacing all these technologies together. You're networking them, um, and you also find that uh, a lot of your traditional mechanical based systems, as an example, a car, okay, is moving more towards using electronics. You know, in those cars, right? So take the first Ford that was built. Right? It had four wheels. It got you from point A to point B. Right, right. But it didn't have you know um, it didn't have airbag. It didn't have um, if you look at some of the newer BMWs, they have sensors that okay. let you know that another car is very close to you, and it definitely can park itself. Right, 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 definitely. But now you have all those capabilities, which were enabled by electronics and um, electrical engineers, in addition to a host of other engineers. But the electronics in the car is the domain for the electrical engineer. Okay. So considering how um, you are a person who at one point in time was a middle school or high school student who... Uh, knew about these things and was looking in the future, um, what are some things that you would recommend uh, or say to some uh, high, middle or high school student to make sure that they are they're fully prepared and um, moving so they can be the best engineer they can, they can develop their passions? Like, What would you recommend? Well, first thing is definitely talk to other people who, mm-hmm. are, who are in the field. Okay. All right? So they're going to give you their perspective on things. Um, and then stick to your core values. That's working hard. Mm-hmm. Um you know, being very, you know, being good at your math and your science. And you might not be good right now, but you work at it. That's right. where the hard working comes from, right? So you have very good work ethics. Um, you be able to, you know, be able to communicate your ideas and what you're thinking about to other people. So those are what I call the core, you know, just a few of the core things that you just need to have as a person who really wants to uh, make an impact no matter what the field is. Okay. Now, when we start talking about electrical engineering, then you want to be comfortable with computers. You want to be comfortable with, um, you want to be in, you know, comfortable with uh, messing with these circuits here. You want to be able to pull them up, you know, take them out, put them back in. And one way you can do that is by uh, checking out books. Okay. Right? Or you can um, just go to Radio Shack. Radio Shack have these little projects, these little kits where you can take one of these breadboards okay. and you can put a circuit together. And I know that one of the projects they, they really like to do is how do you um, make your own volume control, right, as a project, or how to um, make a radio, right, oh, wow. using, these, using these components and using an um, antenna that you can make on your own. So those are just some really cool things that you can actually go and do on your own. Um, so Radio Shack, and you might even want to consider Toys R Us because there is a kit called the Lego Mindstorm, okay. which is just a robotic kit. Um, but it's a programmable robotic kit. You can program it to do the things that you want it to do. So those are some really cool toys that you can, you know, today go and get your hands on and start playing with. Okay. So, uh, you know, time is always a concern with YouTube. So uh, we're kind of getting to the end of our interview here. And I wanted to know if you have any final thoughts, any words, anywhere you'd like to kind of uh, leave our viewers with. Yeah. Um, the first thing is, you know, whether you're an electrical engineer or another engineer or some other occupation, always remember to work hard. Uh, make sure it's something that you're passionate about and the money is going to come. Right? Um, and if it is you know, electrical engineering, then great. <laughs> right. But um, you know, I'm not going to tell you to do electrical engineering because it all depends on what you're passionate about. So definitely stick to what you're passionate about. Um, and, and with that, you know, um, hey, even a country boy like me who then, you know, came from a little small town with less than 5,000 people can be successful. It's all about how you um, put yourself out there, how you work, mm-hmm. your work at it, and how you network with other people in order to make those things happen. So don't ever be afraid to take uh, positive risk. Okay. All right, Mark, thank you for your time. Uh, this is True Engineer. Uh, And I'll see you all next time. What is engineering? Uh, With Mark McKelvin, today we talked about electrical engineering. That's our time. Peace.